All right, good morning, everybody. It's a Sunday morning. It's the morning of WWE Payback, uh, presented, like, like I said, by the WWE, as everybody knows. Uh, the big topic here is will Daniel Bryan turn in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt in order to save the job of his wife, Brie Bella? Brie Bella Bryan. Um, if you, you think about all the alternatives and, and, and everything that could happen, um, I think, you know, for most of us, the most predictable thing that would happen would be Daniel Bryan would turn in the title belt. Um, I think everybody may be surprised at the fact that um, Daniel Bryan's not going to turn in the belt and... Um, where this is going to lead as far as the storyline goes between he and Bree, I'm not sure. I haven't really read anything about it. Uh, but I don't think it would make sense at this point in time after, you know, a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago when he had his surgery on his neck and nothing happened to the belt since that happened. You know, they created the storyline of giving him the opportunity and then now... Uh, with loss of employment to his wife, um, I just don't really see it would be making any kind of sense if Daniel Bryan did give in the titles. Um, so I, I, I'm looking to see that I, I believe there's going to be some sort of storyline be between Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. Um, and it could be, too, that Brie wants to take some time off. you know, doing Total Divas and, um, you know, sharing those duties uh, within the wrestling ring on a nightly occasion, for the most part, you know, it, you know, deserves some time off. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to see what, what does develop tonight during payback. Um, maybe there'll be some sort of twist again. Uh, one would have to wonder, but, um, I honestly believe when payback goes off the air tonight, Daniel Bryant will still be holding those two championship belts. And for me, I believe that is best for business. So, uh, and it does create more of a storyline. And there's future plans with Daniel Bryant and Kane. Uh, supposedly, they're, they're going to do a Buried Alive match. And Daniel Bryan's supposed to come out on top of that as well to give Kane some time off because he's filming his new movie. So uh, just a, a lot of variables going on. But, I, you know, I see it interesting. I mean, I, I'm sort of curious what other people think of the situation, you know, what they think Daniel Bryan should do with those titles. Um, now, in... In most instances, if Bree wasn't involved in this um, decision, you know, it's a no-brainer. Daniel Bryan would just keep the belts. But now that she is involved, where she could lose her job in the WWE, according to Stephanie McMahon, um, what does everybody think about that? You know, what's your opinion on the situation? Do you think Daniel Bryan should... Uh, be stripped of the belts and hand them in or and, and you know and defend his wife or do you think that Daniel Bryan should make the decision to retain both those belts and you know in this sort of sense too by retaining the belts uh, a storyline it could create that Brie would say that she's not important enough to Daniel and that the belts are more important to him than she is. So this, like I said, this could create a very interesting storyline between the two of them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see where this goes. Um, so it should be a pretty interesting night on Payback. Um, it, you know, I'm not sure what the outcome is going to be. I mean, uh, and a lot of people are talking about... Um, the card. The card isn't really all that bad. Um, it it can be um, elevated depending on 
how they decide to, um, you know, dictate all these matches. I think the Shield and Evolution is going to be a great match because it's an elimination match. Uh, John Cena and Bray Wyatt. This is one of those matches. John doesn't need to win, but when the feud's all said and done, John will win because it's John Cena. Uh, and, and, you know, and by losing to Bray Wyatt on a couple occasions on major paper, you know, on pay-per-views, um, it does, um, you know, push Bray Wyatt to higher levels. So, yeah, it's sort of interesting, you know, um, Sheamus should be retaining tonight unless there's a swerve with Cesaro. And, and of course, Bad News Bear is going to, is going to, you know, defeat Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam is putting this match only for Bad News Barrett to look very, very good after he defeats him. So, and the only thing I have to wonder is where and what are they going to do with Dolph Ziggler, Alberto Del Rio, Damian Sandow, Cody Rhodes. I mean, these guys that were once something and then all of a sudden nothing um, it's so, sort of like they're lost in the shuffle so anyway so again the question is will daniel bryan do the right thing um in other people's eyes by giving in the belts and saving Bree's job or will daniel bryan decide that he's not gonna turn in those belts and what kind of situation this will create with his wife, Brie Bella. So give me your thoughts. Give me your opinion. As always, this is the Iceman. Uh, you can check out the Iceman's Wrestling Extreme Facebook page. And also Wrestling News Talk, as well as In the Hot Seat with David Rivera. Um, you know, Facebook has become much bigger wrestling-wise. And, uh, you know, with all these pages and whatnot. It's it's becoming very, very fun, very, very interesting. There's a lot of interaction between a lot of people on Facebook with their wrestling pages and and uh, it's just creating a new buzz. I mean, it's, it's a buzz that's really probably needed for the simple fact that wrestling is like on a mediocre level right now. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So peace out, everybody, and enjoy payback tonight. We'll see you all next time.